Hello and welcome to Cat's Love and today I'm going back to my cat breed profile series to talk about the Burman. This cat breed is known to be the sacred cat of Burma, but I'm just going to go ahead and start out the video by telling you the history and facts about the Burman. Now the history begins way back in the day, like so far back in the day that there is actually no official record of where the Burman actually came from. They are often believed to be pets slash companions of temple priests in northern Burma, which is a country that is now called Myanmar. The breed was believed to be guards for the temple with menacing yellow eyes. One day, thieves attacked the temple and head priest Moonha sadly passed away during this attack. He was killed in front of a statue of the blue-eyed goddess that they worshipped. Moonha, the head priest, owned a cat, and the legend stated that the cat apparently placed his two paws on Moonha's head when he passed away, and something crazy happened. Once he placed his feet on Moonha's head, he apparently faced towards the statue of the blue-eyed goddess. Apparently, the cat's fur took on a golden glow like the cat went Super Saiyan or something. While this was happening, the cat's ears, face, legs, and tail turned brown to represent the earth. But the paws of the cat, which was on Moonha's head, turned white. It was believed that Moonha's soul entered the cat, and the cat would sit by Moonha for seven days before the cat passed away. But there is a major gap in the history. One moment, the cats are defending a temple in southern Asia, and the next moment, they're taking a trip up the Eiffel Tower in France. It's not known how the Burmans got to France, but there are some beliefs. Some think that this breed was given to two French soldiers as a gift for defending their temple in World War I. And another belief stated that basically the Burman was just gifted to a French citizen by a wealthy American. But the earliest date of a Burman cat being in France was in the city of Nice. But legends and beliefs aside, these cats are known to be the sacred cats of Burma. These cats play a pretty big role in Myanmar's ancient history. But anyway, let's go to the basic facts segment. Did you know that the Burman's pretty blue eyes also have a legend of where they came from? You remember when I was talking about the statue of the goddess that had blue eyes? Well, uh, a legend states that that goddess basically gifted Muha's cat pretty blue eyes for his love and devotion towards Muha, and that carried on to all of the rest of the Burmans. So that's one belief on why Burmans have pretty blue eyes. Did you know that Burman kittens are born fully white, but over time they will gain color? The cat breed's name comes from the word Burmanier, Burmanier, Burmani, I, I don't really know, I'll, I'll put it up here, I, I'm not French. Anyway, that is basically French spelling for Burma, the place where Burmans are believed to originate from. So they took the name and cut off the IE. Did you know that this cat breed almost went extinct? During World War II, almost all of the Burman cats were killed off during the war, and only two remained at the end. And thankfully, thanks to breeders and uh, the help from long-haired Siamese cats, uh, breeders were able to repopulate this breed. If it wasn't for French breeders, we would not have the Burman cat breed today. And last fact, this breed was fully recognized in 1925 in France, so the Burman is actually a French slash Burmese cat breed. And no, I'm not talking about the Burmese cat breed, I'm actually talking about Myanmar citizens who are known as Burmese people. Jeez, the breed namers really made this difficult for me. My Burmese friend from Burma owns a Burmese cat and a Burman kitten whose mom is a Burmilla. That's a tongue twister. Burmans are known to be easier to brush and groom rather than other long-haired cats. It is recommended that you groom your Burman weekly or daily if needed. You can groom them daily, you can groom them weekly. It doesn't really matter as long as you do it every now and then, but it, it will help reduce hairballs and shedding. If you're wanting to know how to basically groom a Burman cat, like what brushes and everything like that to use, then refer to my How to Groom Your Cat video from two weeks ago. I basically talked about everything you should know about grooming a cat, what brushes and combs you should use on long-haired cats. That, that's, that's the video you need to check out right there. Like other long-haired cats, you should brush the Burman more in the springtime. And if you don't, then your new couch will go bye-bye because it's just going to be covered in the cat's winter coat. 
The Burman's recommended living conditions are low maintenance. This is a low maintenance breed. The Burman is recommended to be an inside cat. And make sure to keep your pet Burman close as they are known to favor their owners over other people. And if you need to go to work or if you're just going out to eat or something, it's perfectly okay to leave the Burman home alone. Actually, Burmans are known to also like alone time. They are a cuddly cat breed and are known to be great lap cats. They will live in really any living space. It doesn't really matter to them as long as they're close to their owner. The recommended cat foods that Burmans should eat are basically just make sure they're high quality and make sure they have enough nutrients to help the cat thrive. They won't eat anything too specific, so I would just recommend Purina or Iams cat food. Here is all the unique body features and just regular features of the Burman. The Burman's fur is known to be soft and silky. Cool thing is, these cats don't have an undercoat, which means their fur cannot mat. This breed is a medium to large sized cat with medium to long sized fur. They have a moderate to high tendency to shed. The common eye colors you can find on the Burman are light blue, dark blue, and really any other shade of blue. The common fur colors you can find on the Burman is seal, blue, lilac, cream, and chocolate. The common coat patterns you can find on the Burman are bicolor, color point, seal torty tabby, blue tabby, and the female Burmans can have seal torty. There is only one breed that the Burman contributed in making, and it was the Ragdoll Cat Breed. The breeds that made the Burman are long-haired Persians and Siamese cats. The Siamese and Ragdoll Cat Breeds are the closest you can get to the Burman because they have relatively close temperaments and behaviors. Here are some facts about the Burman breed. The Burman can weigh 7 to 12 pounds and they can live up to 9 to 15 years. If your Burman is healthy, then they can live longer. The Burman is a long-haired cat breed with a moderate to high tendency to shed. And their temperament is cuddly, gentle, curious, and loving. And the Burman is known to be the lap cat of our ancient ancestors. Thanks for watching. This is one out of three cat breeds that start with burr. So today I did the Burman, uh, sometime in November I'll do the Burmese, and then in December I'll do the Burmilla. But until then, my next Capri profile is sometime in September because I'll be talking about the Bombay. Stay tuned for next week because I'll be talking about how cats are seriously smart. If you have a Burman cat, then comment down below. I'd love to learn about your Burman cats. And stay tuned for Kitty Cable. The first episode is coming out real soon. If you haven't caught up on what Kitty Cable is yet, then basically me and my friends who are also cat lovers are going to get into a call for about 30 minutes to an hour straight talking about cats, debunking myths, and just answering some common questions about why cats do this and that, and we're, we're just going to be talking about cats. So if you enjoy animal or cat related podcasts or talk shows, then Kitty Cable is perfect for you. But yeah, first episode. It's on its way. It's coming soon. This has been Cat's Love. See you next episode.